friends, and welcome to Turtle Queen Gaming, and welcome back to CSI Hard Evidence. This case has not gone at all as I expected. There's... I don't know. It, it looked like it was going to wrap up in a nice bow, and then it just didn't. I have nothing else to say to you. Well, shit. A cup. A thingy. Can I... I don't think I could even look through her apartment. There's a bug there. Oh no, it just was going back. Okay. Okay. Stupid footprint. I- gosh, I must have forgotten something. Already. Part done. Something's gone horribly wrong. Did I get evidence that I didn't know anything about? Footprint! Uh, footprint. Oh, that's right. None of these matched, right? That's right. And then this didn't work. And this didn't work. And we're off to just a fantabulous start. But we're still missing something from the crime scene. I'm not exactly sure what. I do not know of any conflict. Adarsh was quite willingly subservient to my husband. Friot did seem distracted, and I would say tense over the last few days. I would ask him what troubled him, and he would only say, work. Evidence indicates Dr. Dewan was stealing. Well, Visa had contacted him about some kind of fraud, but Adarsh? I certainly would remember that. This may explain why my beloved Priot was so tense and distracted of late. Adarsh? No. My husband and I rarely entertain. I would remember. He claims he helped start a fire in your living room fireplace, and got his fingerprints on the poker that way. It is just barely possible Adarsh visited my husband here sometime while I was away, but I so rarely leave the house. If he had stopped by for business or on a social call, I'd surely remember. Oh, he's a liar face. So maybe this is all wrapped up in a nice little bow and I just have to follow the excuses that he gave and be like, yeah, you're dumb. Shit. Gosh, I'm really sick and tired of that happening. Really, really sick and tired of that happening. Also, I don't really know where else to work I get. Hey, what's up? He's on his way to interrogation now. He's wrong. He lied. I would think that if you were announcing your marriage or whatever. Please, I have told you everything. Shut. I have nothing else to say to you. This is getting silly. There's also a thing here. What am I doing wrong? I don't have permission to search here. I'm definitely missing something. I 
Okay, listen here. There's absolutely zero things going on. Zero. Oh my god, what is this? Holy shit! Uh. Oops, I missed it. Nice one. Almost missed it myself. Uh, how about you do your partner a favor and skip telling Grissom what I just said? <laughs> I totally missed that. Ah! Ah! Ah, why is there a bloody fingerprint? And I bet it's the daughter's bloody fingerprint. Ah! Ah! Blah, I cannot believe this. This is... Fingerprint. 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 Uh, let's match this one. It looks like a big fat no. No samples found. Whale poop. Eh. And that doesn't go at all. I have two prints that don't match anything. I thought it was going to help. It didn't help. I have nothing else to say to you. Uh, well, there's at least... Did I miss anything in the morgue? Maybe. No. I don't have anything for you right now. Well, poop. Poopy, 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 poopy. Poopy. Why didn't I, well, Pope? Oh, maybe I should ask the wife about it. Maybe, 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 maybe. I can't think of anything I haven't told you already. I don't have any hints for you right now. What? Okay, hold on. Um, this fingerprint. The, the, the bloody fingerprint. I don't... What can I do with it? I can't do anything with it. This footprint. The, the, the bloody footprint. Um... 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 um, 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 um. Maybe I can, I can, can't do anything more with this footprint. Uh, uh, uh. Um, and he has no hints. How could he not have any hints? Uh, uh, this makes no sense. I'm so very stuck right now. How can you have no hints? <sighs> okay, listen here. Something 
is going awfully terribly wrong. Hey, what's up? He's on his way to interrogation now. Nobody has anything to say. I found the extra evidence that didn't do anything Please, for I me. Please, I have told you everything. Poop! Okay. There's got to be something. Okay. Take a pin of fire poker doesn't... There's nothing. There's nothing here. There's there's uh, uh, footprints. This footprint absolutely does not match anything. Wait. Oh. 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 This is a wake up call. The slipper with the asphalt mark matches the muddy footprint, meaning Mrs. Bandery called on her daughter after discovering Mr. Bandery had bought it. Which is why she went outside. Oh, oh, oh. First her. I can't think of anything okay. I haven't told you already. Then definitely next brass progress footprint evidence provides a clean link between her home and the crime scene plus we got a possible motive thanks to the answering machine tape enough for a warrant away Why do you stupid people insist on wasting time searching my house when I've already told you who to investigate? In the meantime, my mother is on the verge of a nervous breakdown and the killer is running free. I don't have another word for you. Cool. We work well when it's quiet. We'll start with your <laughs> fingerprints. Dick. Ugh. Thank you. These are mine now. Um, you want a different tool for that? Uh uh. For sure. You want a different tool for that? Okay. Bug. This is mine now. Anything over here? No. USB. Looks like Ms. Bandery has a few more words for us after all. Secret ones, but words. They're funny. I think that may be it. Is that it? Nope. I'm missing something. We're not leaving here till I find it. Ah! Okay. I have nothing else to say to you. Okay. Just thought I'd make sure. Sweet, let's go. Moving on with life. Whoops, that's not what I wanted to do. Easy enough. Bing. 
the conspiracy. They were all in on it. Bloody fingerprint belongs to the daughter. That puts her at the crime scene when her father was murdered. Oh. Bing. So our Vic was responsible for his wife's blindness. Oh. Anything? Nope. I have nothing to match these two yet. Uh, what about the powdery substance? What is that? The Vic has a swimming pool. Let's go back and see if we can answer the big question. What's it all about, algae? That was bad. Like, that was worse than bad. Pool house is separate from the main residence. Don't think our warrant covers it. Let's look around outside. Again, crime scene. We should be able to trash the place. Though, so, that's the same thing from a pool, so it's not exactly, probably, a big deal. This! This is a nice pool. Bug! Good eye catching all those insects. Now let's look at catching the killer. Hey, it was on the way. I assume that that residue is what's going to give us access, which seems flimsy at best. Oops. I forgot that it wasn't a matching thing. Did it not matter? Good. Technically, it shouldn't have. Can I get in there? Okay. Based on the blood evidence found in her home, in our strength and motive for the killing, as well as her bloody fingerprint at the crime scene, I'd say getting a warrant's a slam dunk. Okay. All right, all right. My mother was here. She came over right after discovering my father's body. That's where the blood in the sink must have come from. Okay, but that doesn't tell us how your bloody fingerprint wound up in your parents' house, does it? When you learned your father botched your mother's operation, you saw red. You sneaked in and battered your father and left a bloody print on the way out. By the time your mother discovered the body, you'd already washed up at home in your sink. That's all backwards and sideways. When my mother discovered my father's body, she freaked out. Hello, she's blind. So she ran over across to me, covered in blood. I left her there, went over to check on father, and of course took his pulse, which is how I got blood on my hand. Get it? I went back to my place and told mom that daddy was dead. Really dead. She wouldn't let me call the police. 
I don't, I don't know why, just in shock, I guess. I helped her wash up, and then she had me walk her back home, but then pleaded with me not to stay. Your mother makes a habit of forgetting such little details. My mother looks out for me. Doesn't yours? She's way overprotective, and in this case, I just followed her wishes, because she was freaking out. But she wanted to spare me, to keep me out of any investigation into this tragedy. But you have to believe me, you are wasting your time down this path. Adarsh, that evil troll, is your killer. We'll ask the opinion of the evidence, if you don't mind. Okay. So, you know our family secret? Yes. My mother suffered from a rare form of age-related macular degeneration. She needed a specialist, but my father wouldn't hear of it. Doing so would humiliate him. So he performed a surgery for which he was in no way qualified, and now my mother is nearly blind. I only recently found out, and I was angry as hell. But I swear I didn't kill him. He was a stupidly proud, often cruel man, but he was my father. Nearly blind? Yes. My mother has very limited sight. She's not 100% blind. Hmm. I have nothing else to say to you. Okay. That is a painful subject to me and of no pertinence to this tragedy. Adia? Angry with Bryant? Such nonsense. She adored her father, and he her. We have reason to believe Adia recently learned of your husband's negligence and the loss of your eyesight. You speak of private, personal matters that have no bearing on this tragedy. My daughter loved her father, and her father loved his daughter. The story begins and ends there, and I have nothing more to say. Okay. Um. Mm. He's on his way to interrogation. Uh, I don't know. I don't know. I doubt he has anything to say. Please. Yeah. I have told you everything. But. There's got to be something to do with the pool house. I don't know how I'm going to get a warrant to get in here. Oh, hey. Look at that. That'll do it. Why pool house? It's very random. There we go. It matches all right. Perfect place for someone to clean up after a little dip. To breast. Vic's blood at the entrance of the pool house? That makes it part of the crime scene, as far as I'm concerned. Huzzah! Wow. What I would have given for a place like this back in my college days. Somebody's been staying here. The wife, maybe? Odd for such a devoted couple. It's probably a Darsh. What the? Blood spatter on this robe is consistent with its wearer delivering medium impact blows. Like those that killed our victim, not somebody just stumbling innocently upon a bloody corpse. Really? That's not what it looks like to me, but okay.
what the? Is that a chisel? A flathead screwdriver, okay. That's... I don't know why that's a thing, but okay. Window? Nothing in the window? What about this way? Oh. No? Are you sure? Okay. We don't have permission for this. Yet. What? What the? We have permission for the pool house! What is this? What? What? Alright, whatever. I'll just deal with what I have right now. Nopity, nopity, nope. Oh no, not sales size apples! Ah, I wasted my time. There we go. This fabric's definitely part of the robe. Oh, okay. It's gonna be some sort of screwdriver thingy going on. There's a lot of his blood everywhere. <laughs> that would be a big bingo. Assailant definitely wore this robe during the murder. Widow Banderit's been lying from the start, maybe covering up for her little girl. Let's get her in here. Yep, yep. Mrs. Banderit, we found a robe in your pool house covered in your husband's blood. Spatter found on the robe is consistent with someone at the scene when your husband was killed, not with contact with the body after the fact. Your daughter was at the crime scene, and we believe she may have worn your robe when she killed your husband. She did no such thing. I did. Lies. I am not about to let you make the wrong assumptions and persecute, much less prosecute my daughter. Arya has been through quite enough. Thank you. You've talked to people. Surely by now you know what a cold, controlling monster my husband was. And as his wife, I accepted this. But for my lovely daughter, life must be different. She was born here, left home to go to school. And yet, still, he tries to control her, manipulating her into an occupation pleasing to him, forcing her to work for him. Adia seemed content with these choices, however pushed upon her they might have been. But when Priyat insisted, no, demanded, Adia marry a man she did not love, a man with the same old-fashioned notions that would mean disrespect and a slavery of sorts for my precious girl, and then, when he threatened to separate Adia from myself. I had no choice but to stop him. What mother wouldn't? And so I killed him. I put him out of our misery. When I learned that that foul snake Adash was in your custody, I thought his karma had caught up with him. But when you begin to suspect my daughter my innocent child, I must come forward. Jaya will be a small payment for a life of freedom for Adya. Oh. I really thought that was going to get different. Man, nothing <laughs> like a confession to make a CSI's day. Even at night. Hold up. Problem. Daughters just confessed to the same murder yep. Mommy did. I knew that was going to happen. in the interview room talk to her and now we can't prosecute either of them good girls you know what's up it was all a big plan I just heard heard that my mother confessed she's trying to take the blame from me surely you can see that that she's sacrificing herself for me still hazy why don't you clear it up 
I did it, obviously. I swear, I wore the robe, killed my father. You've gotten the picture, right? How horrible he was to her? She was chattel. That sexist, traditional nonsense was bad enough, but then his pride robbed her of her very eyesight. He was gonna separate mother and me if I didn't marry that pathetic weasel. I couldn't stand for that, for any of it. I killed him. I killed him. I killed him. I'd kill him again if I could. Arrest me. Let my poor sweet mother go. Not that simple. Both you and mom have motive and opportunity. But one of you is lying. Now what? So you have two confessions. One murderer and one liar. What's your next step? When in doubt, go back to the evidence. Only I'm not finding anything conclusive here. Both the mother and daughter have motive. Either one of them could have worn the robe. Both were linked to the victim's blood. I just can't find anything that points to either of them conclusively. German philosopher Arthur Schopenhauer said, every man takes the limits of his own field of vision for the limits of the world. It's possible you're letting your own perspective blind you to the evidence. Are you seeing something that we're not? Not from here. Go back to the scene of the crime. Put yourself in the killer's place. And remember, even the best of us can miss important evidence sometimes. What do we miss? Okay. We can't get a hold of this for some weird reason. Gosh darn it, every time I think that this is gonna work out the way it needs to. <laughs> Surely there's a window pick, no? Okay. Here's the th okay. Let's see. Killer's shoes. Come on! I need to find the shoes that go with that footprint. Since that's the only thing that I don't have. Right? 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 Well, no. These. The slippers match the shoes. Blah, 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 blah. Hmm. Huh. I wonder if Gris ever gets tired of being right. What do we if miss? If I were standing where the assailant did, and struck the victim, then when the weapon came back, the blood cast off would fly right, because I'm right-handed. From oh. this position, spatter clearly swings to the left, hitting the wall, with no swings to the right. So it was a left-handed person. Our killer is left-handed. Oh. Now we just have to find evidence to determine whether the lefty is mother or daughter. Okay, 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 okay. Um. Um. Judging by the place settings, looks like one right-hander, one lefty. Mrs. Bandery did tell us that her daughter always invited her mother over for lunch, but there's no way to determine who sat where. Are you sure? Maybe, oh, okay. There's gotta be something. Hmm. 
Oh, I have permission for this now? What the what? <sighs> okay, then we ask them for a sample of their handwriting. That could make sense. Maybe. Is this... Based on oh, the slants okay. of the letters and the direction of the smudge marks, we can safely say that Mrs. Banderit is left-handed. Place settings in the daughter's kitchen indicate one is right-handed, the other left. Crossword handwriting says the mother was the definite lefty. We have our killer. Oh, man. I'm, am I missing something here? That's strange. Oh well. I'm sure it's nothing. Hey, what's up? She's on her way to interrogation now. Your daughter also confessed to the murder of your husband, but the evidence agrees with your version. Of course it does. She is innocent. Trying to protect me. We know, Mrs. Banderit. Your daughter is right-handed, but Mr. Banderit was killed by a left-handed person. Like yourself. I owe you thanks. I know I said some cruel things to you before, and I am sure my daughter has done the same. But I thank you for finding the truth in this. And not allowing to stand the injustice of my daughter being blamed for my act. She should be free. She has been inside the prison my husband built for her long enough. How is her hair so nice? No, I won't. I told you. I explained it. Weren't you listening? I killed my father, and I'd do it again. Maybe you would do it again if you had the chance. Only you didn't do it in the first place. Forensics tells us your father's killer was left-handed, like your mother. You're right-handed, meaning there's little chance you could have wielded that fireplace poker. Much as it may disappoint you, Adya, you're innocent. Your mother can no longer bear her controlling husband, so she grabbed the fireplace poker and for once took charge of her own life and his. Then she went to your house, and you helped her wash off before she hid the robe at the pool house. All right, all right. But before you go any further, stop and think. She didn't do this for herself. She did it to protect me. All those terrible years, she never once complained, never challenged that demon. My father was the monster here, my mother the victim. To be pitied, not tried for this, this necessary execution. We did fine. Great, in fact. Nice having another sharp pair of eyes. Justice may be blind, but CSI's gotta see every detail. Check in with Gris for your evaluation. We also missed something. Not really sure what. All right, here's your evaluation. For evidence, there were a few items you didn't find or fully process. For hints, you didn't need any at all. And at the end of the day, you followed the evidence to a clear conclusion. I can't argue with that. Good work. You did very well, though as I noted, there's still some room to improve. I'm giving you an above-average grade. And by the way, thank you for all the new specimens you found for my collection. I'm recommending you for an extra bonus. Great hunting. 
Oh man, one more. One more case. And then we're done with this. <laughs> this ridiculous game that I'm not. I keep hoping I'll grow to love it, and it's just not as good as I wanted it to be. Oh well, the story's still there, and it's not terrible. <laughs> so until next time. Peace out, y'all.